thanks for tuning in for episode two. Well, I don't want to really call these episodes because that's kind of lame. Actually talking to yourself in a camera uh, is kind of lame. But besides the point, today I'm going to be reviewing the Costway Portable Washer and Dryer. I've had the washer and dryer probably for about three or four months. And I'm super excited to tell you why you need to get yourself a Costway portable washer and dryer. Okay guys, we're in the bathroom now and I have set up the portable washer. Um, it comes with two pieces. So this is for the dryer. You kind of push the clothes down, which I'll show you later. And this is uh, supposed to be the inlet to be able to put water in the washer water water in the washer water in the washer and you're supposed to be able to you know hook it up to the sink but uh it doesn't fit doesn't fit uh anything so apparently there is a way you can buy a, an attachable piece but uh yeah i didn't buy it so we're not using that i will probably be getting a bucket and filling it with the bucket Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my dish soap or laundry soap. Then I take my bucket and I fill her up. Turn it all the way on. And then once it gets going, as you can see, it goes crazy. Um, and it does that for the entire 15 minutes. All right, so the clothes have finished washing and I'm about to switch it over to drain so you guys can see. I've been using the bucket as well to kind of help dump out water because it's clearly moving very, very slowly. So I switch it over to drain and there it goes. Filling up my mom's poor sink. And I'm gonna stop it. Um, yeah. This little piece, and you shove it in there. Make sure it's real tight, real tight. Push it all the way down so that way the clothes are as suctioned in as possible. Then you close this little thing, which I don't really know what that part's for, but whatever, close it. And here's when it gets crazy. Okay, so this thing is going to start shaking and gyrating right off top, but then once it's um, good and it starts spinning, then it'll quiet down a little bit. Um, but another thing is, is that if it doesn't quiet down, that means you need to stop it and you need to open it and you need to push it down even harder because you want those clothes being real tight. So here we go. Oh God, here we go. put that drain back in there and it finishes draining out that water. The five minutes is almost up. The water has stopped draining out and here it's stopping right now. It slows down. If you open it, it'll stop right on a dime, but I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to jack it up, you know. Okay, and open. Um, pull the little thing out. And the clothes don't come out perfect and dry like you couldn't wear these right out um, of the the house um, but it's like um, the equivalent of a swimsuit dryer um, so there you have it uh, it was relatively easy to use um, once you get the hang of it your process starts going a little faster you get a little routine down and you're going to want to use it all the time um, you know it, it's a great idea great idea and apparently i can't talk today so uh join me next time so you can hear me talk a little bit about my juneteenth shirts and how i will be celebrating juneteenth